All right, how's it going, guys? And welcome back to Pokemon Infusion. Fusion. So, last episode, we just started our adventure. We picked out a bulb store and we caught a a, uh, a Nidoran. But most of the episode, unfortunately, was uh, just trying to figure out the controls, which I was hard struggling on figuring that out. But now that we got it now. We got most. We got most figured out. We can go along, go on, head on with our adventure. Ba -da -bum. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What is this? It's a uh, hoot hoot. Alright, um, a little tackle. Uh. But he's a little leveled up. Go, Poke Bail. Hoot hoot. Um, normally I would name them Soren. But, uh, this is a female. So... Oh, the turtle organ that senses the Earth's rotation. Using this special organ of hoodoo begins hooting at precisely the same time every day. Hmm. Yes. Um, let's name her... What's a good owl name? What's... I don't remember the name of that character. She's like Soren's best friend in the Guardians of Kipo series. I can't remember her name though. The name! It eludes me! Um, let's go with... I like that this game also is like Insurgents where the music just kind of like loops. But it's not a good loop. <laughs> uh, let's name her... What's the sister's name? Eglantine. That's the sister's name. I don't know if I spelled it right. Alright. So we have... We have the technology. Let's fuse Princess and Eglantine. Um... We want to go with the Hoodoo body? Or Hoodoo head with Nidoran body? Let's go with this one. Yes. The Pokemon are being fused. Fused into... Oh no! Oh no! Oh <laughs> Its highly toxic barbs are thought to have developed as protection for the small-bodied Pokemon using the special organ that Nita Hoot begins hooting at. <laughs> oh, let's just go with Eglantine, I guess. Um, insomnia. Mild or Max. I guess we'll go with Mild. <laughs> Goodbye, new sets. Ooh, Eglantine, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me go buy some to Hopefully it gets better as they evolve. Because I'm going to make a rule for the sake of the Nuzlocke that whatever I combine them with first, I don't change. So, like, it's going to be... A Nidahoot. Until it, like, until it faints, pretty much. That's the thing. In case you were wondering. Um, let me buy some more. Let me buy some... What do you sell? Buy. Ground... Oh, you sell gem to No, 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 stop. Stop. Bye. Yeah, nice best person. Okay. Can I buy some... Can I buy... Can I buy six of those? And then... I guess six of those. And a potion. I 
I don't even remember hitting that button, but alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go into the forest now. I should probably level up Edmontine. But, uh, we have said. Black type Pokemon are my passion. My favorite Black type move is Fury Cutter, of course. You know about Fury Cutter? It's a move that increases in power when you use it multiple times in a row. Two hundred dollars if you want, sure. I don't got the money still. Okay, just right out, right into it. Ooh, meow. Yeah. Bag. We gotta catch the meow. Um. Um, in honor of my friend who loves cats, and his favorite, there's like one of her favorite well one is Meowth. Okay, so we got a Meowth. Um, we're only going to fuse Meowth with... Actually, I think what I'm going to do, is now that I have these two Pokemon, um... I'm going to kind of cut it here and uh, grind a little bit so I can level them up. Um, I'll be right back. Uh, oh yeah, I'll be right back. See ya. Alright, how's it going, my guys? Actually, I shouldn't be saying that. Welcome back. Okay, so I leveled up Eglantine and Rinzi. They're both level 7 now. Alright, uh, let's go exploring. Of course, really interrupted. There's a Pokeball over here. <laughs> hey, look at my cool bug Pokemon. It better be a cool bug Pokemon. Caterpie. Oh. Kind of expecting like something cooler, I guess. Pack. Pack, pack, pack. Ooh, it. Let's go. We ran. Is that me ran and Weedle? It is Nidoran and Weedle. But that's so cute! Look at him! He's got a little peats and his little, his big little nose. And then there's this thing. <laughs> Caterpie. I just hope this thing gets fixed. This is the be only way I can really describe it when it evolves. Oh, there's a tree there. There's a lot of trees around. Oh, she. Bosh, bosh. Got to hit on my Pokemates. Oh, there's a Pokeball over here. An antidote. I don't need that. Um. Do I just. continue? I'm not gonna. What's down there? Is that a dude? I think that's a dude. Pretty sure that's a dude. Oh, you got like super dark. I was like, oh, I guess I just avoided her. Awesome. Bugs and mushrooms are working a pinch if you need to heal your Pokemon, but you better have an antidote ready. Huh. Big mushrooms are super invaluable, but be careful if you go hunting after them. They look extreme, exactly the same as poison mushrooms. Interesting. This is the same route, right? Yeah. Here's our city. I have to go heal my Pokemons. Yes. <laughs> you do right there. With enough training, we can finally defeat Brock. I tried burning Brock so many times, but he's just too tough. I keep having to come back here and heal my Pokemon. Upstairs is the Pokemon Trade Center. 
You can get random Pokemon from trainers all around the world. It's fantastic. I see you looking at Tyro here. Traded for you for a Mankey. What do you think? No. Oh, well, that's too bad. I'll never be able to find a Mankey. Peter City is bigger than Viridian City and Paladown. Pokemon Center is a lot busier. Is there any Pokemon that I can get here? Can I have a Jigglypuff? Oh, when Jigglypuff sings Pokemon get drowsy. So works in humans too, so. What? Your mic is at Mount Moon. Huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Rude. <laughs> Says the person that just randomly walks up to some random guy in this house and. Psst! Do you know what I'm doing? Come on. Spray your mouth to get the moon out of the garden. Here, try for yourself. Cool, thanks. A hotel? Most major cities in Kanto have hotels like this one. They're great for finding people to help or simply to rest and make your time pass faster. People that have lost things often come to hotels to seek help from traveling Pokemon trainers. They always hang out on the top floor of hotels and they'll give you rewards for helping them, so don't miss out. Interesting. Hello, sir. Hello. What's we new here? In many cities you find hotels just like this one. Local residents gather here when they seek the help of traveling Pokemon trainers such as yourself. People usually hand out great rewards to trainers who help them, so you, you don't want to miss out. Use this journal to help you keep track of the quests you have accepted. I don't know, that's kind of cool. Next to me, I'll also give you rewards for helping a certain number of people. These are your current stats, according to my intel. No! I had no idea! How do I do all that? Heh, <laughs> that's my secret. Help one more people. One more people! <laughs> and I'll give you something good. Oh, hello. Hi, are you a Pokemon trainer? I want to make some wild mushroom stew, but I'm afraid to go in Fridian Forest to pick them because of wild Pokemon. You mind helping me out? I'll give you something in return to make it worth your while. Sure, why not? To make my stew, I need three tiny mushrooms. Counting on you. Mushroom gathering. To bring our three tiny mushrooms from Fridian Forest to make stew. My type Pokemon are favorite. I want to become a strong trainer using only bugs. Fully evolved bug type Pokemon? I'll give you something cool if you do. What was that? Oh, I was asking if I had it. Okay. Please show me fully evolved. Hey, I need your help. I lost my revival sitting on a bench earlier and I'm worried sick. I never be able to feed Brock without it. Please, would you let me find it? Yes. I've been sitting on so many benches today, so I don't know which one I lost it. But it's gotta be somewhere in Peter City for sure. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's go to the bench, I guess. Let's go look for this dude to revive. It's on the benches, it said. Oh, found a bench. No? You revive? Can you revive? You get on the way, sir. Okay. Don't revive there. Fine, don't revive! Is it right here? No. Okay. Hey, is it right here? Hmm, probably more trainer. I brought back the special fluid from my travels. Show me the city badge and it is yours. Oh, well fine. There's the gym. I've seen that's the museum. But the... Those are the only benches in the city. Oh, there's one over here. I found it. I found you revive, my guy. My dude, my guy. I found you revive. But will you give me an exchange for this revive that I don't need, can't use? Because I'm doing a nuzzle. You did? Wow, thank you so much! Brock will be a cakewalk with this item. Here, please accept this as a thank you gift. Hey. Alright, well I did one I did one quest. What do you have for me now? In progress 2, completed 1. How do I know that? <laughs> also, there's one more thing, it's a gift for help. If I haven't helped so many people, I want to give you this. Flash! <laughs> no. Big mini. Okay. Um. I gotta put Buddy up front because it's a rock type jam and can't really do anything else. Uh. They still don't have a level cap. What about all the trainers? 
Um, see what like, see what their level is, and maybe get a Geo Ramp. Oh. That is a interesting fusion right there, my guy. I don't like the arms. Yeah, please get out of here. <laughs> uh... Alright, what do you have? Stuck. You are light years away from Brock. I don't know about that. Camper Liam. GOP. Oh. It's a mini Onyx! Look at it. It's a mini Onyx. It's kinda cute. Sand dude! <laughs> Come on, that sand dude! Oh. Oh. That's not at all what I was expecting that to look like. Oh. Well. Um. Let me go buy some potions, I guess, then. If that was my last one. I <laughs> don't. I'm upset about saying, dude. I really am. Like, 100%. Like, keep it real with you, my guys. Oh, I can only buy two. Awesome. Awesome. Got a lot of money in this game. No. Well, let's go and fight the gym leader. I guess I could have just came back here and healed. Instead of using a potion. But oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I'm Brock. I'm Peter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. In gym battles, you're only allowed to use as many Pokemon as a gym leader. So since this is your first gym badge, I'll be using two Pokemon. Please choose the two. Oh, that's kind of cool. You wish to use for our battle. Um, these two. I would use Eglantine, but Eglantine is weak to rock, and also only knows moves that are not very effective. What is that? That is the angriest bird I have ever seen. Actually, no. I take that back. Two cannon is. You know what? This Pokemon reminds me of those videos of, uh... Those birds with arms. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Those like weird funny videos. Dignics? I wanted to switch. It's kind of cute, though. Oh, I don't know it was faster than me. I could have... Ignis's rage is building. But you're seated. I'm kind of glad I'm at least seated then, if that's the case. Took you for granted. I didn't even need the meal. As proof of your victory, here's the boater badge. I just want you to. I just want to give you this. Rock tomb. This contains the move Rock Tomb. It's a rock type move, though. Slowly put it down. There are all kinds of trainers in the world who you appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. Go to the gym truly and test your abilities. I mean, one premium wonder trade ticket. What does that mean? Wow, you've even... You're even... Oh, excuse me, sir.
That was inappropriate, my guy. Do not appreciate being talked to like that. Alright. Um, well, we got the gym badge. Um, we leveled up a Pokemon. Um, so I do believe that this is the end of the episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Alright, how's it going, my guys? And welcome back to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Last episode, we got our gym badge. Um, we saw a couple interesting fusions being used in the gym. Um, I have a very interesting fusion. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to... Ah. There we are! It's me, Professor Oak's assistant. I know, it's not her voice. I was doing some field work around here and I came across something incredible! You've really got to see this. It seems like there's an outbreak of Pokemon with hidden abilities on this route. Okay. I saw one of this in the I saw one of them in this very patch of grass. You'll be able to tell at the start of the battle if Pokemon has this hidden ability. It's a very rare event. We're lucky to be witnessing it so close to home. But I didn't don't expect it to last for a very long time either, so you should try to catch one of these rare Pokemon while you still have the chance. Well, I'm headed to Sterling City for some field work, so I better get going. It's right on the other side of Mount Moon. Maybe I'll catch you there. Good luck. Good luck with the Pokemon League challenge. How will I know if it has a sailing ability? What is that? It looks like an Igly buff and a Biro. I don't know if I like it or not. It's a very angry ugly buff. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Soft and pliable body is very bouncy. If its high keen keening cry is heard echoing all around, it's a sign that they are warning each other of danger. It's a normal flying type. Oh man. Yes. This <laughs> the little sprite. Angry burb. Why doesn't it have a gender? Girl, Leer, Pound, Pursuit. Okay, so not. I know it has the mix this moveset then. Let me go heal my Pokemon. Because that Igly Row <laughs> did a number on my team. We hope to see you again. I'll say this again. I, I know they mean well, but that's such like a... Quit staring if you don't want to fight. It's such like a, like, look down. Catch your Sally. Noodle. Meowdle. That's adorable. But, uh, like, when they say, like, we hope to see you again, it kind of makes me feel like they want my Pokemon to, like, be hurt or whatever. Oh, you must be a normal poison type. Uh, let's go with Angry Bird, I guess. <laughs> I kind of wish you were a fairy flying or something. 
but it's fine. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna go heal, and then I'll be right back. Never mind. I don't know why I thought that he wouldn't fight me, but... Bit that. I guess buddy. I think I need to level up my Pokemon. Oh no. This isn't gonna be good. No, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, I don't have any potions. Why did I have to interact with you? Yeah. That's a. Unless it uses like focus energy again, please. No. Bro. Oh. You, uh... <clears throat> Fuck you, game. mad about that flinch. Well, I guess we'll never be able to see what that turns into. And then poor Renzi. All right. It's uh, looks like it's time to go level up my Pokemon a little bit. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I will be right back. I will see you in a little bit. <laughs> 